country. We are actually very happy and we feel uh, indebted to uh, Zimbabweans, uh, the politicians, the political party leaders, the supporters, all stakeholders, including yourselves, the, the media, the fourth state, for actually push, uh, pushing and propagating the agenda of peace. It has generally been, been a very peaceful uh, pre-election environment and I'm very pleased on behalf of the NPRC to also acknowledge that even yesterday on polling day, uh, the reports that we're getting throughout the country are pointing to an election day that went on generally very peaceful, um, and as one or two, of course, logistical issues, but uh, we haven't received any reports of violence. Uh, we were particularly focusing here in Arare, Arare Metropolitan Province, which province I'm uh, uh, mandated by the Commission to superintend over, but I've also been talking to my colleagues, uh, fellow commissioners, who are all over the other provinces in the country, and we haven't received any adverse reports of violence and or any serious uh, breach of the peace. Now, let's talk about the initiatives that NPRC held or carried out prior to the elections and obviously the months in advance. Talk to us about that. How, wh how did you, what did you do? Did you engage the political players? What, what was your strategy so that everyone was on the same page? We actually had, uh, uh, we have an election strategy uh, that we actually worked on months before the, the holding of the elections yesterday. As you know, since we're a peace building commission, we are actually full-time peace builders. We have initiatives. We actually have a, a thematic committee that specifically works on issues to do with that. And they came up with what, uh, in my humble opinion, is a brilliant election strategy where we were focusing on uh, a conflict prevention. The whole focus on, and thrust of uh, the MPRC during this electoral cycle was to focus on uh, conflict prevention. So we were having programs throughout the country. Uh, we had our commission, the commissioners, members of the secretariat going through the country on peace campaigns, uh, interfacing with political parties, interfacing with other stakeholders like the church, the media, the youth, women organizations, student organizations, uh, civil society. And uh, I believe that that has largely contributed to the largely peaceful uh, election season that